Okay, so today, finally, I'm going to talk about how I calibrated my tilt hydrometer. I did the whole thing with the sugar water and this and that. Don't do it. Don't bother. It's not, it's a waste of time. It's a total waste of time. So what you have to do is you have to really bite the bullet on the first time you brew with it or you use it in a brew. So for instance, I put the tilt in, in this uh, beer and I t took a known reading when it went in and I temperature corrected that reading with the hydrometer and then I went on to brew tubers on the calculator and then I did the hydrometer correction and I got my exact amount. Then I waited for this tilt to settle down and whatever the tilt was reading here, I corrected it at that point. And I, as you can see here, I have all these set points in here at different intervals throughout the fermentation process. Every time I, I took a sample, I put a set point in for a known SG. And what that does is it causes this thing to be more accurate as it goes through. And the reason being is that when you do a fermentation with a tilt, all of you that have used them know that crud builds up on the tilt. So that does affect its buoyancy. But the nice thing about that is, is that that crud builds up in the same spot every time. So if you are doing this throughout the process, and as you can see here in the camera, I have one, two, three, four, five, six set points from, looks like 1.136. That one was set with sugar. You don't really need that one. And then the next one down from there is 1058. The hydrometer said 1058, but the actual was 1067. So that was a huge difference. And then from there, we just kind of corrected as we went along. And those, those hydrometer readings now are accurate. So we can check it now, because it's saying that this, uh, this logger has come down to 1030. Uh, so let's see how accurate that is. And if it isn't, we can put a set point in there. You can put as many set points as you want. And once you do that on your first brew, you're done. You don't have to do it anymore because it's really, it's really set for, for pretty much every brew. Unless you do a really high gravity beer, you may wanna check that initial gravity to make sure that it's accurate. But after that, you should be good to go. So that is the way I calibrate the tilt. All right, let's see if we can get a good shot of that. <clears throat> so that says 1030, this says 1032, but remember this beer is at 60 degrees. So if I put in the calculations on the BrewTubers website, it says it's 10, so it says I'm at 1031. This says I'm at 1030, and the hydrometer says I'm at 1032, corrected down to 1031 for the temperature. Do I want to make an adjustment for that? Probably not, but you get the point. If I wanted to, at this point, I would just do a known calibration. So you would click on this, not the temperature one, the calibrate known, and then you enter in the hydrom The hydrometer will tell you it's 1030. You enter the exact amount 1031. At this point, though, the next time it gets here, it will be accurate. Now, it'll also track accurately down to 1.000. However, if there's any variation where it's off in between there, that's when you have to set that again. So if I came back in a few days and this was uh, reading, let's say 1025, and then I took another measurement and I was off by maybe two or three points, then I would probably put a set point in for that. And once you have all those set points in there, this thing becomes extremely accurate throughout the process. So that is how I calibrate it. I hope that helps. If you have any comments, please post them below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. Click the bell for future notifications. Cheers. Thank you to our sponsors, Imperial Yeast, Five Star Chemicals, Beer and Wine Hobby Homebrew Supply Store, Brewing America, all stainless steel mash paddle sponsors. Get brewing.